have to start over. This looks tricky. I don't think my lockpick kit will work on this one. Aha! So this is where all the flash boom ended up. I'll bet someone is you. Someone's outside. I'm going to find out who. You scared me. Oh my gosh, my heart's not beating. I I'm not kidding, I can't feel my pulse! Oh wait, there it is. What are you doing out here? Arthur sent me to look for you. Because you didn't show up for your meeting at the Casbah. I'm... hiding! I was on my way to that meeting when I suddenly got this premonition that something terrible was about to happen. So I've just been walking around, trying to make the feeling go away. I think I've discovered... I think I've discovered who's been spying on you. Really? Let's hear it. George Jackson. He's been following you around taking pictures without your knowing. Ew! Maybe he's the reason for... Maybe he's the reason for your premonition. My what? Oh, my premonition. Yeah, right. He probably is, the weirdo. Do you think George Jackson is... Do you think George Jackson is responsible for the accidents? If he's as twisted as you say, it wouldn't surprise me. Although, my money would have been on Arthur. Arthur Hitchens? Why? My agent says he's one of the most powerful men in Hollywood. Not because he's super rich, but because everybody owes him. In fact, if I were you, I'd figure out how to sneak a peek inside that safe in his office. I bet you'd find all sorts of goodies in there. The safe is locked, naturally. The third crate here contained that decoder, but what's this Valley of the Kings one? I'd better head over to stage A to find out.
This must be the code to the safe. we go. Hmm, maybe I should try out this phone number. Interesting. the crate from the manifest in Arthur's office. buried here.
coated lock. This is the lockpick I need to get into that sarcophagus under the Main Street house. I think it's time for a little powwow. Well, well, the gang's all here. Where have you been? Believe it or not, I was actually worried about you. As well you should have been. I was hiding. From Mr. Spy Cam here. You talking to me? Who else would I be talking to? George, I saw... I saw your makeshift photo lab, along with the photos of Ida you took behind her back. Or should I say, of her back? You were snooping in my room? She's a detective, freak lips. How did you know she was a detective? I told her. I was trying to calm her down after... After someone put that snake in her locker. Someone put a snake in your locker? Apparently taking pictures of me wasn't enough. I did not put that snake in your locker. Come on, who else would have done it? Actually, you. Hey, look, Ida may not be my favorite person, but I would never risk traumatizing her like that. It would jeopardize the picture. Probably true, but that snake wasn't meant for her. It was meant for me. While I was checking out that video chip, you shoved that snake into Ida's locker. You knew the wardrobe room would be my next stop.
You knew it'd be my next stop after I saw the cloak on the video chip because you'd already seen that it was missing from the reference model. You let all the reptiles out of their cages too, just in case I somehow missed the snake. Ew! Oh my gosh, you're both freaks! You tried to scare Nancy off the case? She realized I actually knew what I was doing and was afraid I might somehow... and was afraid I might somehow keep her from finding that lost footage. You broke into your own prop room to make it look like someone else took that flesh boom, didn't you? And you tried to frame me for the snake stuff with that stupid swizzle stick. Okay, okay. So maybe the idea of finding that lost footage made me do things that were a little... excessive. But I never used any of the flash boom because finding the entrance to the original Pharaoh set is impossible. And I never put anybody's life in danger like you did. Since when is feeding a cat a threat to anybody's life? I'm talking about the accidents. Oops. You're the reason that black cat's always running around distracting the crew? I just thought it would hype the Lois Manson curse rumor that I... sort of started. But so what? Curses are great publicity. The Tinseltown Tattler lapped it up when I... sort of called them and told them about it. But that's nowhere near as bad as what Peeping George here has been doing. I was taking pictures of that mark on your back. What mark on my back? The one that's just like the mark Lois Manson had on her back. The one that meant she was cursed. There really is a curse, people. Seriously, mate, you need to shut this production down before history repeats itself and somebody gets killed. You moron. That's a scar from a tattoo I had removed when I landed this part. You actually believe in curses? You're darn right I do. Hey, no look what happened to the people so who opened the schedule. tomb of King You've Tut. I don't believe it. Alright, that's enough. Enough. Run, hide. The big bad curse is... What? Just... Go to your rooms and get a good night's sleep. All of you. Now. We've got a picture to finish. You know, Mr. Hitchens, something Ida said earlier has been bothering me. All these accidents, yet no one's been hurt. I think I know who's been causing them. I think you do, too. Ida was right about publicity. The surest way to create a blockbuster is to get the media talking about the picture before it opens. So you caused the accidents, taking care that no one got hurt, but instead of reporting them, you closed the set, knowing word would leak out anyway, and that all the secrecy would attract lots of media attention. Correct. But from what I just witnessed, I'm afraid this film is headed for catastrophe no matter how many mishaps I arrange or how much publicity they generate. No, only one thing can save me from financial ruin. That lost footage. Please, Nancy, you must find it. Time to revisit that sarcophagus and try out this new lockpick.
to start over. to start over. to start over.
It's a passageway that leads farther underground. Oh boy, I guess I have to climb down through this sarcophagus. <laughs>